let's do an a Athens Today segment, as we always do every other week here. Mayor Ronnie Marks, you've been out working, got your sleeves rolled up. I've been out, I got my sleeves rolled up. Got me a new, new pair of shoes. Can yeah, I make a donation for a new pair of shoes? Done wore a soul of them yeah, done, well, Man, get you some tennis shoes or something. I need something, do <laughs> yeah, this, look at that. This looks bad for the mayor, do not it? Ah, Ronnie, before we get Ain't started working. on other things, let's talk about our longtime <laughs> old buddy, Doc Oliver, passed oh, away yeah. yesterday yeah. at 75. Sheriff Sad day, called, yeah. Left a message. And Miss I know, Doris, we're thanking you. How long did you know, Doc? Oh, gosh. Uh, Doc and I, real well uh, in 1986, I got appointed by the city council to serve on the Athens Limestone Hospital Board, and Doc and I served for about 10 years. I stayed there from 1986 right. to 96. Mm -hmm. And Doc was quite a character. We had a lot of fun, did a lot of work, uh, great board, and uh, man, we had we had some good time. I mean, uh, you talk about one of a kind oh. characters. Doc oh, Oliver yeah. was like the top of the list. We yeah. think we got a photo. Good man, gonna be really gonna be missed there in the are. community. And yeah, I don't. You know, in the details yet? Uh, I don't. Uh, I sure don't. I'm and sure there's, there's a, so We got a photograph of you with Doc and Christy and everybody else. How oh, funny! Oh, yeah. I guess I hate right. to bring this subject up, but I I know Sheriff Blake. He hopefully he ain't watching this morning. Uh, He'll hear about it. Back on April Fool's Day two years ago, when his election was nearing <laughs> an end, I said. <laughs> Don't bring this up. Uh, I said, yeah, Robert Valls, everybody going to run as Republicans, and Doc calls Ship Blakely, Debbie. Do you hear what Jamie says? What's happening to all these people? <laughs> hey, calm down, Doc. Calm down. Okay. Debbie and cool. the sheriff one will be here, and you just I ring know. him up. I Remember, that. Jamie did it, not me, <laughs> Sheriff. Doc Oliver, one of the best. I, mean, I did a country over story with Doc back in the 80s, along with Jeff Hodges across the street. I mean, Doc will be greatly missed. One of the all-time greats of Limestone County. Yeah, great, great character, great. Heart just did a lot for this oh, community. Man, just, Everyone's got a story. With Everybody's Doc. got it. And uh, Mike I mean, Davis down at Limestone <laughs> Chapel, he's got one of the best stories I've ever oh, heard yeah. about Doc. Yeah. You know, him and Doc were like that. Yeah, they were mm -hmm. close. Oh, so we'll keep y'all posted on what's yeah. happening with right. Doc. So, and she, thoughts and prayers to all the family members. They, uh, it's a tough course. time, regardless of. You know, been, Doc had been it. sick for a while, but you don't ever want to lose a loved one. Did we see Doc at Bean Day in February up in Ardmore? Was yep. he there? We did. You know, he came in over to the uh, over to the restaurant mm -hmm. after the. Uh, one Bean Memorial Day. Memorial. Memorial. Yeah, yeah the that's police the pictures Memorial in the paper with you. Yeah, yeah we didn't make right. it this year to that. Yeah. Man, what, what a what a guy. What a guy. Mm -hmm. He'll definitely be missed. Ronnie, what's happening with the city? Everything going pretty much? Everything's smooth? going real well. I'm uh, taking a little time off doing some campaigning, but the city is in, uh, in, in really excellent shape. We're preparing budgets and uh, looking at next year and trying to, like we always do, do real conservative from the front end and see what we've got for the quality of life issues and got a lot of big events coming up in the city as you know art on the square and then you got uh, the Grease. fiddlers Grease. and storytelling yeah. and Grease Festival. Grease Festival is going to be big, tour. folks. I hope you, uh, and, uh, hope you get a chance a, to come That's the last by. weekend of September, isn't that's it? That's correct. And then the fiddlers convention is the next right. weekend. The next Buzz weekend. will be up here on the show to talk about that, too. Yeah. 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 Cemetery so. Stroll comes up, I believe, in mm -hmm. uh, September, September also. Yeah. Ronnie, if you don't mind, let me ask you a question. Sure. <laughs> I read the news courier. They got letters to the editor. Right. And. Some of these people write, I've never met some of these people, but they con continuously write a letter that basically gripes about everything that you're doing. Yeah. It don't matter if it's you, whoever's mayor, they're griping about yeah. it. Yeah. Even when Dan was in there. Yeah. If they're going to do that, why ain't they trying to run for something? Well, we've encouraged that to a couple of people, and uh, <laughs> I think they're, uh, I think they like the position they're in where they can it's sit and look. To and, you know, it's, uh, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and make any comments about that, other than I will say this uh, when you're in the line of fire, you're in the battle, you're either going to walk the walk and talk and walk, or you're going to sit on the sidelines and be a Monday morning uh, quarterback or Sunday afternoon or Sunday night. So I didn't just encourage people to get involved and get involved in your community. We got a great community. I don't think a lot of people realize how blessed we are to be in this area. The revenue streams is up. We got good protection and safety in our community. And folks, I can't stress that enough about how important it is when you've got crazies kind of all over the world popping up and the safety issue with police and fire is one of our highest priorities. When you talk about budget, what, I mean, how much money are we talking about? Well, general fund budget is about $23 million. <laughs> That's the, a huge uh, responsibility. Yeah, the, u the uh, utility budget itself is, uh, electric is $99 million. Buying and selling electricity is $83 million of that, so $16 million there. $10 million with water and wastewater, and uh, also about $10 million with the gas department. 
360 employees, uh, close to that. I mean, we're running the business. Uh, exactly. And this is a huge business. Uh, and, and I enjoy it. I love working with the city and looking, working with the people. So I'm looking forward to the next four years. Going to have fun. You know, being criticized, you never get criticized by something you may say or whatever. <laughs> they don't criticize me, here. but they will you in a heartbeat. They're going to say nothing about me. <laughs> That's true. Why is that? You know, uh, Doc was a living legend. I consider Blakely a living legend. I consider yeah. me a living legend. I just hope this don't work in threes. No, uh, well, I, <laughs> Lord, I hope not either. And so does your sheriff. <laughs> yeah, I know. he's what called us yesterday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ronnie, tonight's the forum down to Athens at six. Now, that's not a debate, is what you understand. No, I wish it were a debate. I would love to Got be in a debate to with, uh, well, yeah, I do have something to <laughs> say. He'd love to debate. But uh, here's my understanding is, and it, and it will be a good forum. I encourage everybody to come out. It's at six o'clock at uh, Athens State University, the cafeteria there, and not McKinley's Hall. Uh, McKinley's Hall is being totally renovated, but it's at the cafeteria. It's my understanding that there will be two questions for all the mayoral candidates and also all the city council members. We will each have a couple of minutes to answer those questions, and then there will be one kind of wild card question that will be just for that individual. Uh, Y'all know me over the last several years. I can't hardly get started to answer we something knew in you two when minutes. You weren't mayor. Yeah, I know. That's right. <laughs> Why would you want to debate? Well, uh, I would just love to debate some of the issues about running business. You know, I would love to have some of the debates about some of the issues related to the finances of the city, about the electric department, what we do in the middle of disasters and storms, how these guys work well, you all the time. You tested enough last yeah. year. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. we've, we've been hammered, people working around the clock, working 16-hour days. And, uh, I mean, this is, again, this is a big business, and when we have lightning storms, people want electricity on. Mm -hmm. We have uh, straight line winds who want electricity on. We want our communities to be safe. We don't want people running through the neighborhoods with crack cocaine or any other drugs running through throwing it out in the woods. And, uh, and we're going to do our darndest uh, to, uh, to keep it that way. That just reminded me, last night we were watching a, new, a program called Newsroom. We DVR it and watch it mm -hmm. later. But, and they were doing debates on there. And why yeah. wouldn't people want to hear valid questions being yeah. answered like that? Yeah, I would love to do that. Hey, maybe next time, maybe we'll move in that direction. But this will be my last four years. So if there's oh, young come people on. out Stanley there. Stanley Menefee told me the same thing two, yeah, two years ago. Well, I'm not going to run again. Now he is going to run again. Representative Williams is uh, Mayor Dan used to say that. But this is mine. This is my Yeah, Dan told us that several I'm not going, Kate don't want me to run again. I'm like, yeah, he's <laughs> he's again you know, so. <laughs> so I hope what we can keep hardest? building a good community. Uh, besides ex taking on, criti having to face criticism uh, in the Sunday papers or whatever, mm -hmm. what is the hardest job about being the mayor of a, uh, of a town that's got less than 25,000 people? Yeah, well, I tell you, it's, uh, it's folks, if you were bigger, probably some of the issues that related to us would not get to your attention. You would have some different layers of people between you, like I think the city of Decatur and some of the others as a city manager, they take on a lot of the day-to-day -day activities. I like having an open door, but uh, you know, you'll be working maybe like Carpenter Technology, a $500 million industrial prospect into town, and then suddenly there's a ditch or a tree limb and those other things that need cleaning out. And people want the same attention. To those, so Their I think just I think seeing the overall picture, Jamie, and not looking at a single issue, and working together. Is Let me the go back challenge. to something you just said. You just referred to Decatur with a city manager. I yeah. didn't get a chance to read this, this uh, get it this morning, but Wally Terry's on the front page of the paper either this morning or over the weekend. Said Wally's world. Mm -hmm. All four of the candidates running for mayor, including the uh -huh. current mayor, the former mayor, and right. the two other people, give him credit for the turnaround of Decatur's mm -hmm. success because he's done such a great job down there. Well, I tell you, I, I would be very envious of any city or, or if our city was around water, we would, oh, it would yeah. be, my goodness sake. You're only uh, annex Bay Hill <laughs> out yeah, there. Man, know, we can have, <laughs> all looking for a piece of property, about two acres out in Bay Hill. that <laughs> needs to be in the city limits. Well, let me know. We're marching west, Jamie. <laughs> well, we need to. We, we yeah, need we do to do need that, to. Roddy. We need yeah, to get over I, that way. They have done a, they've done there. a great job over there in the last couple of years. <laughs> they have. They've taken they've, advantage uh, of the resource. Yeah, there was yeah. some internal squabble, it seems like, for a while. And, and you never get very far with that kind of friction. But, Ronnie, most cities you see with only 20-something thousand people, People don't get kind of the publicity and the, the, they're not in the location that this city is. Yeah. I mean, it's just like everything that seems to happen. 
Athens yeah. is, you know, well, right here on 65. Yeah, it is. We got Highway 72, Highway 65, and it's looked at more, I think, uh, of this area. You know, you spin off all the activities that's going on in Huntsville and then Decatur, and, and then Florence has got some pretty neat mm -hmm. things going on, and we're all kind of spinning off that. Just a good place to live. Good, uh, gets a lot of attention. One of your competitors will be up here on the show Thursday, Mr. Jerry Hill. He'll be up mm -hmm. here talking and in depth about his campaign to mm -hmm. de-seat you as mayor of Athens. Jerry and I talk quite often. We actually, we had a conversation yesterday about some issues, so that's good. That's good that you guys well, everybody can't agree on everything. Oh, no, no. Of course, if you're on this program, it'd help if y'all all agree with me. <laughs> that's kind of way this, this gig. Yeah, that's right, the, right. Just right. stay works. on agree yeah. with Jamie. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you're on my side, you know, I got political experience, too. Uh, so. uh, not oh, very oh, good. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing to brag about, but I got a little bit. Uh, uh, that's great. <laughs> Ryan, you do a great job. Thanks Thank for coming you. up. And I appreciate y'all yeah, letting me come. 6 o'clock at the cafeteria. Absolutely. And then we'll keep you posted again. Doc Oliver, our longtime buddy, chief of Ardmore Police. Police Department, Giles County Sheriff, passed away. Said in the yeah. paper that Doc, the article that the News Courier wrote, Doc's daddy was in law enforcement, his brother was in law enforcement. He just came from a, a law enforcement family. We want to do a shout out to Doris this morning. I yeah. hope everything is well. Look forward to seeing folks, I guess, at the funeral. We'll keep you posted when all that uh, comes up. Yeah. Hey, don't forget the uh, Alabama football season kicks off along with Auburn coming up on Saturday the 1st. We'll be taking Friday off the 31st. Yay. Get up here for my birthday on the 30th. Bring me a okay, nice great. gift. We'll Tailgating. be cooking outside. No gifts. I saw our Athens boy playing in, in uh, what's who, Philly? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, couple of nights ago. Anyway, mm -hmm. everything looking kind of good around the city of Athens. Thank y'all for getting up with tomorrow. We'll be back. Johnny Lee D should join us. Other things going on. If you need us, let us he know. Should. Chamber Coffee this morning downtown at Athens mm -hmm. State on the annex on the square. So we'll be down that way. And uh, anything else we need to mention or talk about before I go? I don't think so. Just full yeah. show this week. School anything started. else, Mayor? No, I don't think so. Good. Everybody, Everybody have a great day. Yeah. And we'll get with Tricia about the Grease Festival, Festival and all that coming up too. Get them yeah. up here and uh, go for Joseph that. Joseph Cannon will be with us as well. Yeah, Joseph, Joseph comes up here? Friday, and okay. Chief Harper comes up Friday. Okay. He's okay. running. Everybody's running. So if you if you're still running and you better want to get on, y'all better call me today. <laughs> I'm running out of space. Two anyway. three zero one one two three. Yeah. My cell phone two three zero one one two three. All right. Well, yeah, we got maybe a spot or two left for y'all. So if you need to spend some money, <laughs> now's the time. Oh, right, we got to get out of here on this good looking Tuesday Have a morning great day. in Athens, Alabama. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Love me.